This is the Cross Aventura fountain pen. You can see it's got cross engraved on the back side of that cat band. And it's an asymmetrical cat band so that if I turn it, you can see that it gets shorter in the back and a little longer in the front. Pretty interesting design. On the front, you can see that the um, brand of cross is engraved into the top of that pen clip. Pen clip is pretty functional, flexy. It'll get in and out of your pocket pretty easily. Little silver toned uh, blind cap there and a thinner body and a thicker cap, um, which actually does not help at all when you're trying to post. If you post the cap on the back to right, this is not the pen for you. Um, it wriggles itself off. Pull off and on cap, you can kind of hear it snapping there. A little bit of a undersized nib for the size of the pen, in my opinion, but I don't design fountain pens. I do like the engraving on the nib that crossed it, just some scalloped engraving there. Pretty standard stuff. This is a medium that I'm going to show you in just a second. Comes um, with one, I can't remember, I've had this pen for a few years now, but it comes with either one or two of the just standard cross cartridges. It does not come with a converter, that I remember. Um, plastic pen, a little metal body. This isn't rhodium plated or anything, this is a cheaper fountain pen, so it's just kind of the silver tone. I always like, oh, it also has an asymmetrical end there, kind of like a, um, I don't know, it reminds you of like a feather or a quill or something, the way they cut it at such an angle. But when you go to post it, it's just, it has nothing to bite to. There's, it doesn't want to stay. So even right now I can feel it wriggling around. But when you go to, um, when you go to write with it for any length of time, it will wriggle its way off, which is pretty frustrating. Let's try to focus in on the page here. So this is the Cross Aventura. See right there, already wants to come off. Even when I shove it down hard, it doesn't want to stay on. This is the medium nib. Um, I didn't have a whole lot of issues with this pen writing, um, except for the cap, of course, because I'm a poster. And every once in a while, it hard started. But for the most part, it is a pretty smooth writer. And it didn't happen a lot, but it happened enough that it was annoying. Hasn't happened here while I've been writing this for you. So this is from my website, bestfountainpen.com. And again, this is the medium nib. So if you want to check out this pen on my website at bestfountainpen.com, this was actually one of the first reviews, I believe it was the very first review that I ever wrote for the website. So that's pretty special to me. And this fountain pen uh, was a gift, my first one to introduce me to the world of fountain pens. So check it out. There'll be a link in the notes underneath this YouTube video. Again, bestfountainpen.com.